Hello nerds. Today, we are going to discuss Dale's cone of experience. It's a very important learning theory. Most exams like UGC NET ask about teaching and learning theory. So, it is really important to know some of the theories. Dale's cone of experience is one of the important theories we will discuss today. Edgar Dale was an important educator who developed the learning pyramid, also known as the cone of experience, in 1946. It was revised in 1954 and 1969. His contributions to audiovisual instruction include a methodology for analyzing motion picture content. Dale intended to provide an intuitive model of the concreteness of various kinds of audiovisual media, which has been widely misrepresented. This diagram you see here is often called the cone of learning. It purports to tell viewers how much information people remember based on how they encounter it. Repeated in thousands of iterations, the omnipresent learning cone diagram states that people remember 10% of what they read, which is represented here as reading. 20% of what they hear and watch is audiovisual. 30% of what they see, such as watching a demonstration. 50% of what they see and hear, such as engaging in a group discussion. 70% of what they say and write, for example, practice what they learn. 90% of what they say and do, for example, teach someone else or use and apply immediately. So that's all about Dale's cone of experience. In our next class, we will talk about Gardner's theory of multiple intelligences. It is a very important learning theory, so don't miss it. All you have to do is subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. See you in the next class.